Before this presentation starts, I just want to say I'm all for experimentation, whether chemically, supplementation, exercise, nutrition. This depiction, or video I should say, is to demonstrate how well we are human and we make mistakes as we go along, as that is normal. So continue to watch. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Nicholas De Niro. I received an interesting email or message from a fan of bodybuilding. He or she wanted to know, why do some bodybuilders get the steroid gut, as they would like to call it, or they call it GH gut, or some term, and it usually has to do with the, the waistline and how it how would you say there's a protrusion of some sort why does it occur and what could it possibly be that's the question now i don't have the answers to everything because there are different reasons why this would occur so let's just look at some pictures and i just wanted to show this image because we get so caught up in muscles that we don't realize well we have organs inside our body so keep this image in your mind okay we have a liver stomach our intestinal tract as i would like to call it okay before i continue i want to talk a little bit about women and how women look at the human body because this is important one thing that a woman told me she says nicholas you have aesthetics and i did not know what that word meant and she says your body and your distribution and how you're built you know you're a fitness guy you're not one of those bodybuilder guys and at that time i kind of took it as an insult because you know i actually train harder than most fitness guys but she meant it as a compliment, you know, because nowadays, 15 to 20 years later, as they would say, uh, bodybuilding has turned into you have to be huge. And usually the woman that was commenting on my body says you don't have that grotesque type of look to yourself. Well, let me just pull up a picture. And I know it's of me, but who cares? Well, if you look at my body and if you look at how I'm built, she's commenting on the waist measurements to the shoulders and just basically an even distribution you know i still look like i'm in freaky condition and i am but that's what she meant from a female's point of view and <laughs> how could you go wrong there right now before i continue i wanted to state that this is my own personal interpretation i expect viewers to do their own research and come up with a conclusion now in the beginning of this video i showed a basically snapshot of our organs because we often get too caught up in the external view of our body which is common among men now i wanted to show this little i call it a pathway but it's like a diagram of liver failure and how it could happen and the causes and stuff but you know <laughs> like the supplements and just anything in general that we put in our body whether it's injected or if we take it orally our liver does the work and our organs as a whole you know work together to keep us alive okay and sometimes with for example human growth hormone among bodybuilders especially because people send me snapshots of bodybuilders from like the 1990s and we have to get back to their time we often get confused with the supplements and the chemicals of today but we have to go back to what they were taking years ago and i just wanted to point out hgh human growth hormone i think of the liver as a storage you know the liver is involved in a production of certain proteins and we need at least currently the liver to function in order to live and when you are an individual uses let's just say human growth hormone and abuses well you have to keep in mind that your liver is doing what it's doing creating certain useful things but guess what when you put that human growth hormone in your body in excess you cannot really anticipate what's going to happen you know i can tell you from watching different people you know some guys will get inflammation and when i say inflammation think of your organs think of your joints other guys or women will get how would you say cancer 
Hopkins lymphoma, I think it's called, and it's a cancer of the lymph tissue. Okay, so let's just get back on topic. Picture abuse of the liver, okay? Now let's go down the list of what could happen to the liver. Well, once you abuse your liver, and this is common among bodybuilders too, is look at what happens. Your body starts to, how would you say, deteriorate. And some of this kind of explains it all. Now, I remember in class my professor pulled this image up and I kind of laughed, but it's not really funny. Now, of course, this is not a result of steroids, but it kind of shows certain physical characteristics and I just like to pronounce this word, I think it's pronounced gynecomasty. And of course, it's kind of like what some guys would call bitch tits, <laughs> ascites, jaundice, muscle wasting. Now, let me get on topic of what I'm trying to say here. When you look at a bodybuilder who is, I guess, in their prime and they're using HGH, okay, you have to keep in mind that this agent, as I would like to call it, can cause not only the growth of muscle, but of the overall bone structure, okay, and the side effects are not the same in everyone, but there are certain common characteristics. Like, for example, if the muscles grow, then maybe the rib cage will expand. I mean, we forget about those organs. So, what happens? Like, why do bodybuilders later in their career look like they have a gut and all that stuff? Well, your muscles are not going to just magically stay big forever but if you cause growth to your bones or your rib cage you know that kind of sticks with you for example your legs will get smaller over time your arms but your waist and your rib cage may not because that is growth your organs may be inflamed so that may contribute to the protrusion as I would like to say of the stomach think of inflammation well you have to think of the insides of your body and your organs if your organs are inflamed there is a protrusion type of look okay and not only that I have seen some bodybuilders who experience a I don't know what it's called, but I believe it would be an abdominal hernia. It's where maybe they cause a tear in their abdominal wall and you see like a protrusion. I believe that is their organs protruding. And of course, they would need surgery to correct that. And another thing before I continue is testicular atrophy. And that's of, of course, your testicles, right? Just imagine that. You're on HGH and God knows what, and I don't want to limit the term steroids because there are other hormones one can take. But you have to think of it. Once you stop using HGH, insulin, and all that stuff, <laughs> and this is not funny, by the way, you have to think of it like this. What damage have you created what did you manifest from your mistakes that live within you okay so let's just say if you have testicular atrophy and your pancreas another organ you need to think about the organs okay your body basically what happened is you put those hormones in your body your organs your glands or however you want to word it is basically thinking well okay i don't need to work anymore and so what happens is when bodybuilders go off of these hormones and they get back into being natural, sometimes they have to do a hormone replacement therapy because their body does not produce hormones naturally because of the abuse of the extrogenous form, which would be the hormones, of course. And once you get testicular atrophy, in certain cases, you know, you kind of take on female characteristics. You know, the uh, gynecomasty, and if you experience liver failure, you may get jaundice, edema, ascites associated with liver failure. And I just wanted to pull up this picture again. I just want to show the organs in the body. I remember in my class, and we were talking about different causes of liver failure. It wasn't dedicated to steroid usage or HGH. Now, again, not to be redundant, I was providing my own personal view on this issue. There are many reasons why an individual would get abdominal protrusion or 
distension. You know, for example, some people may get abdominal distension from gas, drinking carbonated beverages, liver failure. So there are a whole host of reasons why a person would get this. Some may be less severe, while others may be dangerous, such as liver failure. Also, just to note, some people who are involved in fitness, bodybuilding, depending on what type of nutrition plan he or she goes on, at some points during their training program, especially in bodybuilding competitions, he or she may ingest high glycemic carbohydrates. And of course, this may cause abdominal distension in some way. So there are different reasons tied into this, and I just wanted to give just a little view and maybe help somebody understand a little bit better. So I hope this video was helpful, and thank you for watching.